Sixers, internet, hello, you see the show. We're glad you're here, happy Thursday. Forestero restaurant is where we're headed today for some Korean fried chicken wings. They got two different kinds. We actually asked in our live show where we should go last Tuesday and somebody commented and said they have the best Korean fried chicken wings in the city. We'll be the judge because we think Crisp has the best Korean fried chicken wings. Here we go, Forastero. Forestero. Oh, by best? Second City, best Korean. Whoa, 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 right, we, might have, we might have gotten one. Better than Crisp? That's, that's bold, okay. bro, well, that's bold. We basically just wrote the title of the video. Are these better than Chris? Right? Alas, here comes a food review. Yeah, and also we're doing our shout out today. It's a merch shout out for Mr. David Bedoy, an awesome fan of ours. He's super, super supportive. He got the bundle subscription hot sauce pack. So we're sending him two bottles, both our hotter Sixer sauce and regular Sixer sauce every single month to his doorstop. Thank you for the support, David and uh, for the support for everyone who uh, buys our merch for us. It's how this show stays live. And, um, oh, also, yeah, stay to the end of the video because we're gonna start a little comment section commenting back and forth. And we'll give a little prompt at the end of this video on what we're gonna be commenting on. So uh, make sure you stay and check that out. Food review incoming. <laughs> Very excited to see if these are the best Korean fried chicken wings. We'll find out. I just put an order online for Sean. Thank you so much, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you Appreciate too. it. See ya. All right, guys. Two different wings from Forestero. Forestero. <laughs> Acquired jump cut. The very official Corey Wagner second angle. All right, here's the DAC wings. Look at that. What do we got on here? That's crispy wings and a pomegranate molasses with guajillo and gochaguro peppers. Don't know what that means, but I'll tell you how it tastes in a second. Pomegranate molasses is wild. Isn't that insane? That's in Same. And then this is the vaguely racist name, the Kung Fu Chicken Wings. And that's what we're looking at. And these boys are crispy wings and habanero and apricot sauce with a kick Napa cabbage sauce. And there you go. It's two sauces. Yeah, two sauces I think that would normally scare me a little bit. Like on a menu, yeah, right? I'd be like, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. These look just like the golden wings at Crisp, like in terms yeah. of like the coloring. Yeah, I mean they look good. There's they no do doubt. look good. I will say they don't look as, they don't look that crispy. They don't look that crispy. The breading looks like it's gonna just kinda be mush. Yeah, all right, let's do this. those first. Looking very good. Corey pointed out something very, uh, very true. Crisp, our favorite, if you get just the drumsticks there, they're way bigger. Way bigger. All right, here we go. Forestero. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, this is okay. Bro, well, doesn't even hold a candle. I'm not even close. Not even at the same vigil. No. It's crisp. Is that necessary, bro? So far back. That guy got so, so close to my car. Why like, are you parking like that? Why are you? That was a weird decision. Now, in order to get out, I have to go backwards. You have to go back. Hipsters, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like the uh, like the stereotype of like what a hipster is, but like if you had to like draw one, you whatever you whatever you're drawing is right. <laughs> Thank you for parking so close. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with people? I'm like weirdly perturbed by that. Is I, there a sign where they had to park in front of? I don't know. Thanks for the space. Can you see? people. I think I'm mad because these wings are so not good. Yeah, they're very average. They're not bad, they're just like... They're average. This, that guy clearly has never had crisp. You gotta have crisp. Also, oh, this yeah. place did have a really good review on mine. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm really underwhelmed by that, dude. That's so underwhelming. That's so underwhelming. There's not a lot of flavor. The chicken's sticking to the bone. Yeah. I don't want it to fall off. I'll try one of these. Yeah, a little pomegranate molasses. These are the back ones. Wow. A little weird, a little strong on the flavor for me. Oh my god. I don't know if I like no, I don't think I, don't think I like granite. pomegranate molasses. No. Mm. Really I, sweet aftertaste that I'm not digging. Yeah, bro, these are I got bad news for you, bro. These are not very good. Not very good. I mean, actually I got good news for you. There's a place you can go. <laughs> yeah. If these blow your mind, your dick is about to explode, bro. <laughs> 
Your penis is about to blow off your body yeah. when you go to Chris. Oh, those pomegranate have a horrible aftertaste. I think pomegranate had like its moment in the sun. Like people were like obsessed with pomegranate mm -hmm. flavored things. And then I think it swung back where people were like, actually it's kind of like not that great of a taste. Yeah, people just like saying the word. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. I got pomegranate. I used to drink pomegranate burnettes, vodka mm. in college. That was delicious. Now that's a way to use a pomegranate. Is your new favorite drink a pomegranate drink? Uh, Paloma. Paloma, is that pomegranate? Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Grapefruit oh and tequila. Mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna waste my time eating anymore. Dude, I can't also get over how bad the chicken is. Yeah. It's like it's not pulling, I hate when it sticks like that. Yep, yep, that's not that it. well. It's not very good. No. Man, that's a bummer. I will say I think this is maybe, not the pomegranate, I actually dislike the pomegranate a lot now that that aftertaste is settled in. Ugh. Um, the other ones. Those are called Kung Fu Wings. Um, those were at least maybe better than that crappy place in Wicker Park. Oh yeah, that place was really underwhelming. Was that called like uh, something kitchen? I can't, honestly, I, I wiped that from my memory. Modern Asian Kitchen, cheers. Cheers. I mean, these legitimately are subpar Korean fried wings. Modern Asian Kitchen? Modern yeah, Asian I, Kitchen. What if I got it right? You did, it really? is Modern that Asian is what Kitchen. It is? I'm pretty sure. These are n like not even close to crust. Not in the same ballpark, not in the same universe, not in the same galaxy. Um, I will say, now trying a flat, of the kung fu, the chicken's at least like way better. I pulled the bone right out. The flat worked a little mm -hmm. better. Look at that. I'm yeah. cleaning bone. That's way better. Well, good. One out of ten of your wings were mm -hmm. decently cooked. Yeah. Just the goal to say now I'm getting someone close behind me. This is why this. Actually, good. They're back. Now he's gonna have to straighten. We might up. never leave. I can't believe you guys have no idea. It there's nothing in front of the car in front of us. They backed all they the way up. They could have parked a uh, ten yards north of us, or I'm sorry, east of us, and it would have been fine. And instead they parked almost touching their bumper to our car. Maybe they just bought that car and they have like that. You're trying to be an no, camera. you're trying to be an optimist, and I appreciate that, but f this person. Some people get excited about that new camera. They and they get and really like, close. like, dude, look how this camera, I can get so close. No. No, I'm I don't know. Right. I'll you know what? I will be the pessimist in this one. No, f this person. I should have honked at him. You're being you're being too nice. You should have just <laughs> you should have beat that hipster to the ground. Oh, yeah, dude. I wanna like look beat the you hold this real quick? Beat the IPA out of him, you know. <laughs> Hey, now you're making fun of my favorite drink. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see how close he is. Oh my god. It's like basically touching. Pretty close. I, it was the weirdest decision I've seen someone make in a while. And there's that's all parking, right? We were cracking up how that's all wide open and all parking. It's not even like there's a hydrant there or what just Bro, I'm about to <laughs> They're gonna get a Chicago bump on the way out. <laughs> They're getting a little love tap. Look, look, I, we're we're in the market to get a new car in the next few years, and my bumper's already jacked up. So sorry, Subaru. They're gonna get a little love tap on the way out for this one, bro. That's All right. Well, the food was very underwhelming, but this fun altercation that I wanted to have. Yeah, here, that at least brightened my mood. The Subaru. That's why it's good to get me angry, because there's gonna be some comedy. Comedy gold comes, comes out of anger. Comes out of emotion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and rate these wings uh, out of five. These are called the Dax. I'm gonna go five Dak Prescotts. How many Dak Prescotts do you give the the Forestero Korean fried chicken wings, Corey? Um, they were. I guess they're better than those the Mac ones. Uh, where, they were. They were. But I think it's just the way that that dude was like nothing holds a candle to it Fast in, in Chicago. Yeah, which is crazy. I had a high high. Are you taking any of these homes? I am not. So I don't. I think it's it's once again. It's like we talked about recently with our uh, or this week with our Burger King video. Sometimes it's just the expectation. My expectation was set so high that the drop off was so big. Yeah, I, when people say best in the city because there's a place that does it perfect, it's really hard to not go into it going, all right, they're directly going against them. They're going against a literal national champion chicken wing maker. Right. At one point they were considered, they were on the list of one of the top chicken wings in the nation, Crisp was. I believe it. So. You know, then you're gonna feed me this dog food. I'm gonna this was gonna... really bad. Uh, it was just not that great. So, still, it's okay. Just my expectations weren't met. So, I'm still gonna keep it above average, 2.6. Um, how many wings do you say were in there? 10 each? I think so, 10. probably ish. It was know. $15 for 10. Okay. So, that's about the price. It's about what people pay yeah, for. Yeah, and especially, I think, Korean. Wings because they're so more. much more flavored and sauce, and it's not just like generic barbecue. Yeah, it's not just like trying to get a little overcharged or yeah. upcharged. I think these were underwhelming. Like if I even if I wouldn't have known these were somebody's favorite, like if I just would have had these, I would have been underwhelmed. Yeah. The sauce choice, there was no way to just get like a traditional 
like you had to do these two sauces. So I kind of wish I could have just tried like a, a tamer version of it. That's a really strong flavor, pomegranate. If I would have gotten just the DAC, I would have given it like a zero. Yeah, I know, those saved these a little bit. These were okay. They're okay. I'm just gonna go with a two. Yeah, boo. boo. I'd say just skip that place. Also, sometimes the show just becomes a resource of places not to waste your time at. Yeah. If you fall into the bar ballpark of what we like. That's yeah. just, you know, maybe, <laughs> that's just what I thought, I don't know. Guys, don't forget to like this video, it helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel, we're putting out new videos all the time. So today, you know, we were kind of bummed by that. For you guys, what is the most disappointing meal you've ever had from a national chain restaurant? Obviously, you know, people won't always know these Chicago places. So just national chain. What was something you had and it was so bad? Let us know, comment below. And we're gonna get out of here. We'll comment with you guys here today. Excited to keep the conversation going about food as we always do. Have a great rest of your Thursday. We love each and every one of you. Goodbye.